I'm going to show this amazing tool that allows you to take information that is in many places on a K1 and organize it so that it all flows to the right location in your tax software. Now, when in the SP Binder, and this is the SP Binder program as it looks today, you can get to the K1 reclass button in different ways. But once you click on it, it opens up a new tab, which is next to the Notes tab called K1 Reclass. And this is that new tab that we are talking about. Supplemental pages, data as verified by the verifiers will be displayed here for the preparer. So at this stage, the preparer is looking at the screen. All the information that has been verified through the source documents is provided here. And now the preparer has to just select the reclass to functions and then assign the proper lines where those descriptions and amounts have to go. So for example, here, net short-term capital gain loss and the amount, the preparer knows that it relates to line eight on the K-Bahn, and they are reclassing it. Remember the Excel version of the manual process I showed you, similar to that. But in the program, you don't have to type anything, none of the amounts, you're just selecting where the information needs to flow. Now, once the preparer is done selecting the reclass to for, let's say, all lines of the K1, or maybe a few K1, or maybe all the K1s, it's up to the preparer as they are moving forward in the return, as they feel comfortable, then at the end, they can click on the post reclass. What this will do is, that's where the magic happens. It's gonna change everything, the whole face of the document. Data will be cross-referenced. Again, another powerful tool that, um, Greg just mentioned, which is a very powerful tool in the binder. It's gonna cross-reference the same information lying on different pages, and then it's gonna be linked up onto the binder. And you will also see some stamps and cross-references going from page one to page two to page three. So how does that differ uh, from the pre-reclass to the post-reclass? This is how the changes will happen uh, upon posting the reclass. For better perspective, this is how these 11i amounts are moved to different lines of the K1 lease sheets. So interest income all collected into one spot, dividend income, and then another foreign incomes collected into different buckets as they need to go into the tax return. And then you perform the export to tax software and the tax return will be updated exactly as shown here. So reviewing also becomes easy.